Hello and welcome. So in this tutorial, we are going to encrypt messages that we type in. So we're going to put in a sentence that makes sense. Hello, how are you? And it's going to return, I don't know, some weird letters that are all shifted. So we have most of what we need. We've got that dictionary that works correctly. We have a shift. We have a message from the user. So right now, all we got to do is read that user message and shift each character in it. So the way we can do that is for letter in message. And just to show you what this is going to do is I'm going to say print letter. So we're going to type in a message and this is going to print each letter in that message. Then we're going to reconstruct a new message, shifting each of these letters and putting them in something that we're going to call, I don't know, we can give it a name. Um, ciphertext is actually the correct term and ciphertext is going to be a brand new string. So let's just run this thing. Um, I don't think we need this line anymore. This already works and we don't need to print the dictionary. I'm going to assume from now on that the dictionary is going to work. This is the message I want to encrypt. What shift do you want to use? Five. So there you go. So this is letter by letter and we would now like to change what that letter is. So we're going to say letter is now going to be dictionary of letter. And now we're going to print a new letter. So you're going to see, write a message we want to encrypt. This is the message. Okay, watch. Shift 5. Okay, T becomes Y, H becomes M. Aha, so we have a problem. The problem is it can't shift space. Space is not in the dictionary. So we only really want to shift letters that are in the alphabet. So we only want to do this if letter in alphabet. So right now, this is what we're going to do. It's going to ignore spaces. And if it isn't, yeah, just watch. I don't know. We're going to try one word and it'll print the letter and then the shifted letter. Word I can think of is mouse. Shift five. So M will become R, O will become T and so on. So all I got to do now is construct the, um, the shifted word mouse. And that's easy. We just say ciphertext equals to ciphertext plus letter, which is now shifted. And when it's all over, we can print ciphertext. And I think we already have a working program, except of course that it's only going to be working for single words and it has problems with spaces, but mouse, now oh, let's use eight. Ucam. So there you go. M O U S E. Mouse. Yeah. So I can get rid of these prints because they work. And now we can work on what do we do when we have spaces, what do we do when we have capitals. So let's give this a try. First thing I want to sort out is spaces. I'm going to run this, F5, this is my message, shift, I don't know, 1, and as you can see, it just prints it in one line. We want it to maintain spaces. So if the letter is not in the alphabet, that means else, then we will just add, see, if the letter is in the alphabet, we're going to change the letter. And if it isn't, 
we're going to let it stay the same. So to just, I'm going to explain this. So the spaces will be maintained. This is my message. So the spaces will be maintained, but also letters that are not in the alphabet. These guys, they are not going to get shifted. Even capitals, this, none of that stuff, shift nine. As you can see, this stuff does not get shifted. And if you want to shift capitals, well, um, there's two ways we can handle that. You can lowercase the whole message up there, or alternatively, you can just say, well, if the lowercase of the letter is in the alphabet, then the new letter is the dictionary of letter dot lower, which means you're going to basically get a lowercase output. So I'm guessing it should have, it's probably just easier to lowercase the whole message. And the way we do that is message equals to message dot lower. So no matter how many capitals you use, you're always going to get a, um, shifted lowercase output. So just to show you what's going to happen now when we've lowercase the capitals, shift, we'll use the same shift, whatever that was, nine. As you can see, this has been lowercased in CQRB, and it's also shifted. Numbers are maintained, numbers remain the same. So numbers are not shifted. And that's that. We have a working code that encrypts whatever we type in using a Caesar cipher of our own choice. So that's all for this video. In the next one, we are going to break this encryption using a brute force method. So see you then. Well, that's all for this one, folks. For more videos, subscribe right there. That bell button thing, that's kind of important to click because we've got brand new ones in Python Fundamentals basically five days a week for a good while. Um, this playlist where this video belongs to is bingo, there. And a whole host of other Python videos, there. So there you have it. Enjoy yourselves, guys. See you later.